Hello and welcome to the Microdimensions tutorial series for Volume. This tutorial will show you how to analyze your reconstructed volume using the Segmentation and Analysis tool. To open the tool, click on the Tools button and select Segmentation and Analysis from the menu. Within the Segmentation plugin, you find two tabs, one for Segmentation and one for Color Manipulation. Volume offers two different segmentation methods. You can choose between Fast and Accurate Segmentation. The Fast Segmentation will deliver good results in most cases. The Accurate Segmentation is slower, but will deliver more accurate results in difficult segmentations. I will show you an example of both methods now. I have loaded an already reconstructed dataset in Volume. What you see here is the colon of a mouse embryo where I have zoomed in on the villus. Now let's see how you can segment that villus out of the volume. First, I choose the accurate segmentation method. Then as focus, I will select the option local to limit the algorithm to a certain region. As I have selected the accurate method, I need to define the object, so-called foreground, and background pixels. Have a look at the buttons superscripted with the left and right mouse button now. By default, you can mark the object with the left mouse button and the background with the right mouse button. You can customize the settings of the mouse buttons as you wish, however. The functions of the respective buttons are denoted by the buttons underneath. These are Object Brush, Background and Erase. Now let's go back to the Villa segmentation. With the left mouse button, I brush the region I want to segment. With the right mouse button, I brush the background. I am done brushing and now you can already see that the segmented object is growing in the lower right-hand window where usually the volume is rendered. To analyze the segmented object, just tick the checkbox. In the analysis window, you will see the results, the number of objects and the volume in cubic micrometers. Now I will show you how the fast segmentation works. I have loaded another dataset for this purpose. What you see here is the colon of a mouse embryo. And in this case I want to segment and count all the nuclei in the colon. I have chosen the fast segmentation and a global focus for that. I zoom into the dataset now and brush the dark nuclei. For the fast segmentation, you just have to brush the objects, i.e. the foreground, but not the background. In the volume window, you can already see the segmentation result. Notice that the segmentation is not yet optimal. To refine it, you can also employ the color tab. Use the stain separation to separate hematoxylin and eosin and see how the segmentation result is refined. Just tick the checkbox to count the number of nuclei in your dataset. In the analysis window, you will see the results of your analysis. You can now copy and paste the results into any kind of statistical analysis software that you like to use. Just click inside the results table, hit Ctrl and A to select all objects, Ctrl and C to copy them, and open for example Excel to paste them with Ctrl and V.
If you want to save your segmentation results, just click the Add button in the segmentation toolbox and the current segmentation is accepted and can be visualized along with your volume. Segmentation results accepted like this will also be saved with MicroDimensions volumes and they are accessible through the Visualization options and Geometry tab. Now you have mastered the Segmentation and Analysis tool. For more information about color deconvolution or exporting data, watch the other videos in our volume tutorial series. Please feel free to contact us for individual questions and pricing information.